answer the mixture problem question, uh, the question says that, let me just read it, the lab tech needs to make 108 batches of a 20% acid solution. How can he combine a batch of pure acid with another that is 10% to get the desired concentration? Okay, so how are we going to do this? Well, first of all, I'm going to start with the picture. We have a mixture problems. We have these two containers, and we have the mix. And the mix we want is what we need to make. So we need to make 108, they don't say how many pounds or whatever, just 108, of a 20% acid solution. So what does that mean? That means that 20% of this 108, P equals RW, is the formula I'm using, where P represents the part, R represents the rate, and W represents the whole amount. Okay, so the whole amount is the amount of liquid that he has. In this case, it would be 108. But the part is how much acid he has. So if you take the amount that you have, which is 108 times 20%, that's how much acid that would be in here. So that is on that side. So the question is how much, how can he combine pure acid? Pure acid means 100%. So this is pure. We don't know what this is. How much can he combine a pure acid with another? This is the other. That is 10%. We don't know how much this is in order to make 108. So I'm going to let x equal amount of pure acid and y be the amount of the 10% acid and what we have here is that there will be an x amount in here and a y amount in here so if we take the whole amounts that would give us the first equation, x plus y equals 108. And then using the part formula, oops, okay, so starting over using the part formula, uh, we know that it's uh, the rate times the whole amount. Well, the part, how much acid is in here, that gives us how much acid. And how much acid in here, since it's 100%, it's pure, is the whole thing. Though on this one, the how much acid is in here, again the part is the acid, is 10% of the y. And as we were talking about before, the acid in here is the rate times the whole amount. Which if you multiply these two numbers together, you would get 21.6. So that how much acid is in the first one plus how much acid is in the second one is equal to how much acid when they mix together. Okay, so we have an equation of it on the holes and an equation on the parts. Uh, sometimes in the book that they go over this method, an alternate way of getting the second equation is to use a table. To make a table, what we're going to do is still use the formula, but what I'm going to do is put the P here and the R and the W here. So the answer of the formula is always on the end, and here we have container 1, container 2, and container 3. And we have the rates of container 1. Container 1 is 100%, so that would be 1.00. You just write a 1 there. Container 2 is 10%. That would be 0.10. Let me just be a 1. Okay, and then container 3 is 20%. Um, so that would be 0.20. And the whole amount in the uh, is still x. That's the amount of the pure. The amount of the acid is y. Right, still are unknowns. And the whole amount is 108. So then to get these parts, you just multiply these, you multiply these. And multiply these. So in other words, you're just doing, instead of writing it down here, you're writing this here. And you can see here 
that the two equations, actually all these mixture problems, will be shown right in this chart. Because here the whole amount of the first one plus the whole amount of the second one is 108. It gives you that formula. And then the part of the first one plus the part of the second one equals the part, and this is the 21.6. This is the second formula. Okay, to actually solve this, you can solve this either by elimination or substitution. So now what we're going to do is we're going to substitute. I'm just going to, what am I going to do? I am going to first get rid of the decimal. So here I'm going to multiply everything by 10, both sides, 10, 10, just to get rid of the decimal. So we have 10x plus y equals 216. And then I'm going to substitute, I'm going to solve, subtract x on the first one, both sides on the first one, I get that. I'm going to plug this into my second one. Instead of a y, I'm going to write 108 minus x. And then combine like terms. Of course, I'm running out of room. So I'm going to write it over here. Subtracting 108 from both sides. And you would get, um, subtracting 108, you would get 9x is equal to 108. Dividing both sides by 9, you would get x is equal to 1, 1 left over, so that would be a 2. x would be 12. So that means it would be 12 liters of the, um, of the, uh, pure solution. They wanted to know how can he combine um, a batch of pure with one that is 10%. So you can now write, um, I'm going to have to do it over here, there's 12, um, they don't tell you how many pounds or anything, so 12 of pure. And then if you plug in and take 108, what was y? y was equal to 108 minus the 12. That would give you the amount, this was x, that would uh, give you the amount of the 10%, which would be 96. So, 96 pounds. This is 12. This would be 96 of 10% acid solution. Hopefully that helps. Sorry for the crampness. But there are the two answers. Good luck.